never gone on a ride where after the ride, I regretted going on the ride. You've seen them. Often they travel in packs. Intimidated? Well, don't be. It's just the everyday person that you would run into on the street. They're, they're not crazy. They're, <laughs> they're not adrenaline junkies at all. They're just out there to get some, some exercise, some fitness, and have fun with their friends. Cycling. It's one of the easiest ways to exercise, and that's just one of the benefits. There's fitness, which is a big component. I got back into it initially just to stay in shape. It's also, um, you know, a social component. Getting started might be the hardest part. Even experienced riders had to begin somewhere. Maybe one piece of advice would be to have at least a good bike. Road cyclists, I think a lot of folks tend to be intimidated because it looks very clicky and all the gear and the clothing, but probably the best way is go to a local bike shop. And the state of Connecticut has many great bike shops. These are your carbon fiber road bikes. There is a lot to take in. How much do you want to ride? How much do you want to spend? Getting on the road requires the basics. So a bicycle, a helmet, definitely number two on the list. We highly recommend uh, cycling shoes and clipless pedals, and then a bike fit. The more comfortable you are, the more you're going to want to ride your bike, the more fun you're going to have. What it costs? Well, that might be up to you. So about $800 all said and done on the, the most inexpensive side of it. High end is scary. I mean, that literally the sky's the limit. This is a, a $5,500 bike. Greg Chiochi says some shops offer payment plans with no interest. Having the right equipment makes a difference. The commitment is an investment. I mean, one of the beautiful things about buying a bike at a bike shop is, you know, it's been built by a professional mechanic, um, not at Walmart. That type of bike probably isn't going to be able to handle the, the rigors of a long-distance ride like we're talking about. Group rides are a great way to ease into it and learn the finer points, like the rules of the road. Most bike shops offer them for all levels. Dr. Tara Sand, an oncologist at Yale's Smilo Cancer Hospital, is a cyclist, and she encourages her patients to be active as well. For somebody who's recently diagnosed, getting on a bike might help that person get ready for surgery. Um, for somebody who's undergoing treatments, let's say chemotherapy, Riding a bike and other types of exercise has been proven to improve fatigue. And then as a survivor, you know, getting uh, you back in shape, sort of maybe even better shape than you were before your diagnosis. That's why riding a bike is important in that phase. Health, friendship, a way to escape. The beauty is in the eye of the rider. I'm John Pearson for Sports Edge.